our Monday medical roundup from sibling rivalry, the so-called daddy brain. There's some interesting health stories making headlines this morning. Dr. Nancy Snyderman is NBC's chief medical editor. Nancy hey, Potpourri, man. let's get right to it. Yep. New study released by the University of New Hampshire overnight on sibling aggression. Right. 32 percent of children said they were bullied by one of their own siblings. So when we talk about bullying, what exactly, what kinds of behavior are we talking about I here? I think this is a landmark study. It's verbal, physical abuse or taunting. It's also destruction of property, a sibling stealing stuff or wrecking it. Over 3,500 kids. This is in the journal Pediatrics. And what it really shows is that while you and I frequently talking about peer bullying, especially in the school er uh, setting, family bullying, gr sibling to sibling can have the same kind of fallout. And a lot of the kids who are being bullied by a sibling are also being bullied by peers at school. But what stuck out to me mm. in this study is that even if they are only bullied at home, it can have the same kind of devastating effect emotionally. And it doesn't even have to be severe can. bullying. You're absolutely right. It can even be mild. So a, a sibling stealing stuff out of your room, wrecking it, taunting you. And they followed kids from 11 months with parents doing the interviews all the way up to 17. And they found that whether mild or severe, the the fallout of anxiety, depression, feeling more vulnerable in the school, that mattered. So I would say to parents, if you wouldn't take certain behavior from a neighbor, you don't take it from one sibling to another. I have three kids, and sometimes it drives you crazy to and hear how they treat each other. Rarely physical in my house, but it, it, it does it. get emotional. Yep. And this is a great warning to say, no, enough's enough. It's a really good study. And Nancy, thank you very much.